to mid. Making sure that space is still gained as well. You can see it's going for a bit of a split now into Art. Held down for the time being. But the player's up close and personal. Yeah, this is going to be a battle being taken. Smoggy! You're getting three in the mix. That is just unheard of. They've already locked down just the one extremity. There will not be a spike being planted, not just yet. Left down to Benkai. But the Prowler is not going to spot him out. Off to the side, this angle it needs to be watched for. Ah, just a quite a little sidestep. Now the util floor being sent through. A bit of a jiggle peek, but that was a jump peek from Forsaken. He's so aggressive. Shot still being found, and yeah, Kang Kang is going to be unrelenting with the positionings that he's taking. He's going to make sure that he's punishing you. You don't expect those risky plays. These guys are on top of it all. Yeah, already on the flank, managing to get past the trademark as well, and Kang Kang's picking them off. I mean, an absurd performance. Absolutely absurd performance. What Bonus round. Oh. Their players up towards a main nightfall off the rip to start. Didn't catch nobody. Flash over the top. Nobody's not supportive of it though. It just about fades away. Still smoggy. Wants to take the fight. In fact, they're being backed up. Chichu with the spray down. He's grabbing two. Benkai eventually removing him from the fight, but a bit of timing. Game of cat and mouse around the smokes. Forsaken. Takes away Kankan, -Kan, removes him from the fight, all up to Howard on the IGL for Edward Gaming. Howardong looking to try and spot Forsaken. Knew that Forsaken was looking through this area of the map earlier on. Still with three stars to play with, hey, and Howardong, yep. he's able to get the spray down through the box. To so seeing if you can force, but he knows where the positioning is for both of them now. The Seas is going to be grabbing onto it. Howardong has no audio cues in the mix. Quick little pop into the astral form. It's going to be the smoke popped up now. Benkai playing so far back here. That's important into the back, trying to now, spray on. through this one. He's already got Did half. How long is just going to be sticking this one? And he's got the round. That's an unbelievable clutch. Look at him. Up top on the half wall. Devise, position is known. It has to check it now. What a flick. What is that? Goodbye, Mind Freak. That's a slow field drop down, of course. Nerfed in the patch, they were playing out of champs, but left. I mean, Kang Kang's making the agent just look absolutely unbelievable still. <sighs> Punished in the end, though. Slowly walking forward, there isn't going to be a swing just there. Damage! One oh, it's done. Resurrect is online, a bit of consideration before he lets it loose, but now down to that 2v1. Still time running low, an opportunity for Hao Dong if he does disrupt this, but no stars to pull off the plants. He might have an amazing timing here. Can he get there in time? No, not quite. What's that one? Knows the other one's a default. But it's going to be this double face from Paper X. What a difficult ask. The movement. It's a slight sidestep, a reload. Look how well Howdong is playing with the wall bang here. Just trying to make sure he gets those stray bullets off if he gets even one kill. Smoke laid down, sprays it through. Nine left in the clip, but eventually shut down. Foggy making sure to get rid of the horn there, allowing Howdong to stay in his tough position. The wall bangs. That's going to be the face, though. But here comes Kang Kang. All of this, all of this delay from the rest of the team allows him to get a timing. Just making a bit of noise. That is going to be the kill picked up. Still, Paper X are in control of this mid area. The spike was dropped down. It looks like they are starting to vacate back through mid. Still have control of it. I haven't broken the trademark just yet, but they know it's there. It's been in play for quite some time, and it's up to nobody. Let's see if he can rattle off a couple of shots. The angle's lost at the end of the day. What is that? A flick of the wrist and Jing removed from the action. One way to punish him. And now you get a chamber battle in mid. Left. Forsaken with the tour de force. He reads the play from Kang Kang. That goes for the re-peak. This guy is He's crazy. just insane. But now the Util dump onto the A side. Players working their way through. The boom bot, the prowler, the horn being broken down as well. It's gonna be that one for one at the end of the day. The fight was being taken all over the place. Spike is still gonna get planted now onto the A side. Spike Forsaken planted. making sure that that just slight angle over the wall. This is an aimlabs workout one. <laughs> You're After kidding another, me! The bullets just being spammed out! Bit of distraction, no time for Hardo to work his way into the back of the site. Somehow gets away with two, but only just now is the wall being broken. So he can make sure that he doesn't. Late lurk there through Art. The question is, which do EDG commit to? Do they stop the site hit or the lurk? Forsaken's so just going to be taking a fight right to them once more. The flag is going to be shut down. It's going to be a resurrect in play. Benkai's making sure that he shuts that down, holds it down still. Gonna be the spike, has to get planted now with 11 seconds onto the seconds clock, left. and Mind Freak was capable as well spike of watching planted. just a deeper position that was being pushed up on. Last 
Vice position given away and Kankan -Kan with the trade early. Lovely shot as well, positioning gained from the Haunt. Massive for them. And now, some of that momentum taken away. All the stars in play. Spike down. Oh, it's an untire. Cluster of bodies are going to be met at the top side of B here. You can feel the utility just being tossed out to the side. Smoggy's in a world of hurt right now. They drop down to his feet, vulnerable on top of it, but nobody still with the marshal in his hands, holding for a bit of a wide swing on right inside of the smoke. With a marshal. I mean, up close. Forsaken is low enough now that the body shot might be enough to do it. No. Eventually finds his target. But a gun has been acquired. Chichu working his way out of the back, and this guy, he is a clutcher. He's known for it. Spike, Spike planted. planted. Mindfree tries remaining. to take the fight as well. Down to that 1v1. Chichu has the Viper's Pit to work with here too. Worried about Forsaken peeking in from that back elbow position. There goes the Pit. How does Forsaken respond to this one? You want to try and has get in the Pit inside. early if possible. He has to, but just far too slow. And that's going to be the sixth round here for Edward Gaming. Chichu's in an attempt. Okay, well. Nightfall's going to be coming through. That does force out the Null Command. And there's still enough time here to just cancel. Yeah, if they wait this out, Jing is going to have the showstopper, but this is an important fight to take. Kang Kang! Are you going to be kidding? Tour de Force, players dropping like flies, and they know that the position is, is contained. Finally, no suppression at play. A bit of an exchange there. Bullet for the rocket. It is that one for one. Mind Freak. Oh, he's got a lot to do! Okay! Star as well as in position, that's going to be a pull for Mind Freak. The star on the this. spike indicates an A-main positioning here, I think, for the post plan. But Haodong is still looking towards Secret. He's got the right read if only he commits. And now, onto the spike. It is the wrong read. Mind Freak has played that impeccably. Four kills in the round for him. And he's going to be required to open things up here. You don't want to put too much of the pressure on your substitute, Smoggy. What he's going to be facing. Fight potentially kicking off in art as well. In fact, yep, the players, they want to take it. Not afraid of any sort of aggression from both of these teams. It's very purposeful at that. And look at this still. Double doors locked down. That's going to be almost a triple face. As well as the players look to swing out and again regain, regain control of it. That's that's all five players from Paper X fighting in mid. Yeah. Way more than EDG were expecting to have to deal with. And any reactive play into B off the back of the Viper wall doesn't have the spike. I mean, there's just nothing to be done here. Paper X are all over it. And Chichu's so going to have to be able to pick off Benkai to, just to start up. this one. It has to start here, doesn't Dixon's it? Screen down. Slide angle that Benkai. Smoke on the one side of him. Trying to stay alive here. Benkai into the back as well. That's going to be Util dumped into it. The need to try and push them back on top of that. The satchel. Spike still not being planted. A fight. Oh, it needs to be taken. Forsaken with the operator. He doesn't want to overstep himself. Benkai's at the back of the side as well in secret. Just trying to deny it. The time is running so, so low now. Pinging it on the pre-fire angle. Fights are being taken. Benkai. But he just needs to spam this and he wins. He just needs to spam it and he wins. But he's found out. He's already gathered prior. That's from Mind Freak. Nice seize over the top. That's onto just one of the players. He's going to be trying to go for this plan. Benkai. Oh, the angle is there. Wants to take the fight, but the weaponry was just not ideal. I believe just a stinger in his hands. It's going to be this flank coming up into the top of B. There has to be a player watching this angle now. And then you have it. Not quite enough to find the kill, oh, though. The and the nade. Oh, that is impeccable. That is perfect, but he moves his crosshair away. Jin thought he got the kill. He just assumed he had it. Whoa, what a kill from Smoggy. And that allows him to deny the Sage Wall as well. Portion Mind Freak, locked off. 17 health, no shot. He manages to pull off another clutch like he did in the first half. And he's pretty much just already given it up. No attempts to make his way over towards the spike, just seeing if he can take the gun. Easily a bit of a tip tap there with a rifle. Spam as well, gonna be supplemented with the help of his teammates. Nade over the top and a satchel. Gonna be used, Jing, of course you wanna take the fight again. Unexpected. Oh, Forsaken. Oh, you're taking some liberties with that one, Devai. Still safe hands, apparently, with the Sheriff in his hands. Yes. This is a half by a reminder. Paper X are quick to answer back. And this could quickly get crazy. Devai now with a res online. There are two bodies here, but both in areas that it should be very difficult to get reses off. If you just wait for EDG to commit to a site, though, one of these bodies at least is going to open up. You are divided. Interesting wall. Yeah, just cuts Devai off. I, I think Devai just wants to play quietly here. Just chill, play off the back of the alt. But Jing, as ever, going for it. Showstoppers online. Does he want to use it? The answer is no, saving it. 
for a rainy day because behind the wall this is a position that he's been playing time and time again but does he have the teammates to try and bail him out of it a bit of a spam angle things are there to try and line it up for him the answer is yes paper x are coming through with the gun still the spike is planted but damage more than done with the resurrect online it's now the 3v2 have to play inside of this pit just spam it out, you might get lucky. 140! Stray bullets coming through, Chichu though, now he's repositioning. Moving his way through, a tap of the spike. That's gonna be, I believe, the pull to offset that. The back of their minds, they know that nobody's gonna be onto this one. And still taking the fight once more. Another tap, the smoke in play, and what a clutch in the end. EDG, if they're able to put away this anti-eco. Flash over the point. The spam comes down with the vandals. Paper X. They are going to be winning this one out. The reset of the aim. Benkai. We need a bit of help, surely, from the rest of his team. <laughs> Down to 15 health. And he is skipping a hopping away, but not quite. Warbang takes him out. 2v2 and a fast flank from Defy right behind them. It's so quick. The Paper X players are flanking instantly you just on a map this large. You don't anticipate it. You don't. Time has been played off, but he has slowed it down. He's not going to be taking the fight to them. Just wants to try and contain. And Same a lot of Forsaken. discipline for Forsaken. Yeah. Like jiggle and attack on that plan as well. They are looking to see if they can force out these Last angles. That is standing. the one for one fight. Just being missed. A whiff from the bullet, Chichu. And it's a fast, fast play. Star still being dropped down. That's going to be a pull to disrupt it once more. They hit a plan, and that horde has not been dealt with. An easy spray down for Forsaken. The play is lit up like a Christmas tree. Nobody's still trying to deal a bit of damage, though, in the midst of it. See if he can turn the, the tide of the fight. These smokes are causing a lot of issues for them. Another one popped up just to see. There's a gun in play. That's going to be picked up. And now they know the positioning, but works its way around. That's Jing again. Causing all sorts of mischief in the play. Nobody sprays him. That's four kills in it for him now. 18 bullets in the clip. Position going to be revealed. This is a warbangable angle. The horn didn't reach. It didn't, but he's still slightly aware. Too many angles to watch for. Device should be favored. 125 health, and he knows the positioning of nobody. Nightfall to play with if nobody thinks he has a moment oh, to unleash it. 30 seconds to left. This one shot will do it. One shot is all it takes. Yeah. It comes through, but again, another fast play is being made. That's a nightfall. Through a main. It's out to play as well. It is a fake. There's not too many players. Bit of whiffage in play at the end of the day. It's Edward Gaming who are coming out on top. But now they have to no deal way. with this one. Penkai. Oh my goodness. They just about see him. Either his feet giving him away or what. I'm not too sure. Down to mind freaking. This guy has been capable of. Real scenes before, but going to be leaving him. You can have a site, mate. We're not going to be dealing with you anytime soon. They've left Chichu here to cut off the rotate. They're going to be hearing this. But what happens in a 1v3 is that Mindfreak is actually given this opportunity to make it a 1v2. If he's aware that somebody could still be Thanks lingering, yeah. doesn't doesn't even think about it. And Chichu's gamble pay, he doesn't realize timing. this time. The timing is absolutely everything here. Right in their faces, a fight being taken, and of course your favorite there with a stinger. Bit of an exchange of weapons as well onto the ground. That's going to be an upgrade for Benkai. There with the Cs, but at the end of the day, they do have that positioning, and time is running so low now. Down to 40 seconds. And look how Paper X go from being extremely aggressive up in mid to abandoning it completely. They can play with the time, really with smart. the player advantage. And EDG have to worry about all of these spots. They had everything to bring this to OT, and suddenly, it looks like it's slipping away from them. It's turned on its head, it feels like, but with the Vipers picked down, there is a potential opportunity. Tap of the spike, but time is running so low on top of this and forsaken that tour de force from earlier. That's well, it's coming in handy. Spike dropped outside of the pit, you can pick it up, you can try and plant it, but your position, it is known absolutely everywhere, and there is not enough time on the clock. You have secured oh! yourself in quite a pickle, young man. 13 only for real. Forsaken getting pushed away by the drone. The start comes off. This is a smoky early aggression. How do you come up with two? And he wants a bit more. Fight still being taken, but that's going to be the right click in play. Did you eventually deal him with him? A nice and easy trade. Smoggy is a pistol demon. He did the same thing in round one of Pearl. Ran forwards, got two kills, three kills, in fact, on Pearl. Instantly with the ghost. At this point, two players remaining, left scrambling a little bit, I think, if you are paper as you can see. Benkai now forced to re-clear out through Kitchen, watching for that mid-push because A's been compromised for quite some time. And look at how good EDG have been at pumping the brakes when they get into a man-advantage situation on the attack side. 
But they did it on Pearl. They're doing it again here as well. Just take a moment, pause, make the Paper X defenders spread out around the map. One It'll set you up remains. better. A lot of damage done at the end of the day, but it kills with strange late lurk. And on the other side of the map, despite not having many players here, Paper X have still denied the plant. <laughs> oh, that is unlucky for Mind Freak. And I love this proactivity. Already taking the back of the side as well, pushing right past their own Viper Wall here. Risks are being taken. And they are being rewarded for it. Eventually, though, that is going to be the trade. You can see the Jing was able to catch that one, and she too well caught with a util out down, B. in his hands. But not getting the plant down has cost EDG here. Haldong is on the latest look of his life. He spent all of that time, Bren, just trying to pick up a Phantom. And not enough time left in this round to really do Ten too much more. Left. Gonna be the double face. Easily dealt with, and it was looking... Breaking apart these defensive setups. And it's another really good start to a match from EDG. That cloud burst onto the recon. Does avoid all of that one and a dash back. But just before Forsaken collects that kill onto Kang Kang. And it's still A aggression from Paper X, but it's much more proactive. Forsaken dropped down to one health. Folks that have been watching as well, just for that, that mid approach. How and that was playing there a lot. Yeah, that was hard on on the lurk. Last time he went up tube, this time Stop, underneath. Down. And how does Smoggy and nobody play this? Take flight. That's the question. Dangerous position to drone from. It's only Smoggy watching. It really and now is. Smoggy trying to work off the back of the drone. But entirely doable, I think. Position is known. They know at the bottom side of tube here. Nobody. Right through. Recon's gonna be really in the war bagged him. That's oh my goodness. What a play. And nobody has been elite in the online stage. Sense and mechanical ability. He contact plays towards A. Here's the footsteps, 10 seconds remaining. No need for a headshot, but delivers it anyway. And he has his ult to play off, a shock dart, a recon dart. Nobody is so intelligent in these situations, and he is outplaying Paper X right now. It's down to this. Forsaken versus the newcomer to the stage. And honestly, just the slightest bit of damage will do it. It's all about timing here. It's all about timing. Back to back. Where are the players playing up the ropes? I don't believe it! And a shot is found! An ace to clutch it through! inside of this one but the spam might do the trick on the half by here with the stinger in play oh, pops over a, the top of it his orb is going play. down he is isolated but still gets away with it it's the one on the forsaken's got the knives how do you not get punished there how the wall over the top this angle slightly ajar it's going to be able to find this one but now the hunter's fury to try and supplement it pushes it through nobody just pre-firing at all the different remains. angles and it gets the damage creates the space that late load from how long enough to secure Footsteps are being heard. Straight through mid now into orange. It's up to Mind Freak. What can he lock down? Is this angle going to be cleared? Updraft over the top. Information gathered. What not sure if he looked down or not, but he actually did spot out the one player. The discipline was there. What a beautiful clear that was. I mean, that was so well played from Smoggy and Hardog. Hardog in particular. And now Paper X put in a horrible position to try and clear this. A crossfire in Kitchen. Just pinched on, hasn't it? Yeah, ripped. But they don't expect the Jin could be up top here. Viper's bit is dropped down though, so these angles are not going to be quite as clear. Jing wants to try and drop down into them anyway. Wants to take the fight, but somehow, some way, Haodong once more comes through. That is a spectacular. Fearless man. Yeah. And that's Haodong pinging out the position that Mind Freak is normally holding the smoke from. These players are learning <laughs> so quickly on the global stage. Contact plays on contact plays. This time is Devise's turn, apparently, to try and work his way through down into Chu, but again, just and about brushing each other's backs, aren't they? And the pit that's been used from Mind Freak, getting nothing. Haodong left. finding the timing on everybody through mid. Oh, apart, diving from, diving. apart from Devise. But this is brought to a 3v2, where once again EDG have site control. And apart from a couple of rounds early on in the half, they've been able to manipulate these defenders so well to always being set up on the angles first. Intelligent from Mind Free to be able to catch the one player out, but not quite. Dalt. Here. Or kill will do it. Now that Viper Fuel back up, it's gonna be the snake bike drop down, and an updraft play all the way up close and personal. Taking position into this. How long's pushing forwards? Pitching should not really be favoured there. 
The fight's still being taken, but the Nightfall on top of it, that's going to be pushing the players back and giving a bit of space now for Jing. They know that Jing's behind. And Forsaken being able to win the, the jet battle has given his team a massive advantage. Are EDG gonna go through a double push through the smoke? Just a single tap from Haldong, trying to trigger out some kind of response. But it's Paper X with two rounds. <laughs> Balling. There goes Smoggy. The pistol ace sub that EDG have brought in has been very good in these kind of rounds. Still trying to take it. Okay. And he Divide just about being able to pick the second one. This is what you're going to see from Edward Gaming is that they are not going to be afraid still to get straight into the action. Kills being found backwards, forwards, this way, that way, with the wall dropped up. Going away across now, all up to Chichu. Still being watched off. But players are low enough here that there is a possibility. It's going to be that double face though that eventually shuts it down. And so the pistol round is a reality. Viper wall over on B that Haldong is throwing down. Playing fast and loose at the positioning though. Looks like they were already. Rotate a lot of the bodies over towards this one site. Can they try and take the fight? The answer is yes, that's going to be a trade. In fact, oh. another one just underneath belt. Just underneath the rafters, I should say. Still looking for a couple more with the pistols. The Jesus is just pistols. running and gunning, man. A mind freak, he didn't have a weapon until just now. It's done the mind freak. What a thrifty. And that is... He was out in the open there. There was no one covering that belt angle. Chichu does not play here. Well, the horn spotted him and the C's on top of it. Latches him in position and it's set up Forsaken beautifully. Two kills to open it up now. Uh oh. Playing weed inside eight. that Viper's Orb. And that could have been an opportunity had Haodong found two. But left the Gankai. Not gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, but Devi has the spike heading towards A right now. So and it is face. such an aggro setup from EDG. What face from EDG? Kanga takes the fight, nobody's trying to bail him out, but at least there is the swing. Forsaken's able to trade it, but you never expect the follow-up. Smoggy's still up top on Bell, all the knives expended. Forsaken's just trying to get the hell out of there. Two players up. Jing, if he finds a kill, will have the res back online. Bodies all over the place. And Chichu on the fast flank. The angle. Tap, tap, the rifle, repositioning, that's a spike drop down. That's a res, but that also gives time for Chichu to start working his way forwards and deny these bodies. Sorry, apologies, misreading that one. Thought that was Jing that we were watching, it's Forsaken, Still. of course. He's managed to grab the spike, he's after this fight, and he's being taken! Bit of run and gun in play! Add on, he forces the favorable. ones in a row, cleave the res, but it's so far out in the open. They're walling for it. Oh! Breaks a portion, brutal! But the spam is there, there is going to be coverage in play. Yeah. Recon against the side, they heard the drop, Mindfreak's going to be Closer towards me, it's going to be that double swing now, Paper X. Have to be clean with the fundamentals, have to be clean with the gunplay. They are coming out at least on top of that one short engagement. There's still a minute left, they could pump the brakes if they wanted to, but it looks like they're opting to just try and take the fight right into the barrel of Kang Kang. And he's pushing back up, re-clearing into the position. Two of the players left standing, all of these liberties being taken. This could be it, the final blow. And it's just down to the singular player. Devai cannot stand up against it. Map number three is on the cards. What a play. What a map. In this match so far. And look at this. Can they figure out how to play against this comp? Rendezvous with his feet. Close hold to the corner. It's a half clear. What a mistake to make. And Kang Kang Wild just destroyed. teleports right to safety. Trademark's going to be destroyed, but he's still watching down a flank. In fact, look at this. It's going to be a flash to try and supplement it. Contact play off of it. He hears the footsteps running around. That's a decent amount of damage. And the work has already been put into this one, but the spike dropped down. And EDG are playing the postmats all from long. And this is actually something that they were doing a lot online. But I wasn't too much of a fan about it. I think Wait. the player advantage here, it should be enough. They're trying to spam this one with pistols, man. It it's should already be smoked enough. off. Half on it. It's shaking it all away. A big guy. That's one way to get a Red Bull clutch. Oh. Sw swapped up. And this this EDG attack setup looks like one of Paper X's. There's the Lurk play. Kang Kang forcing the issue a bit earlier than Forsaken normally does, but still coming away with the kill. Still holding a closer corner as well, anticipating that there's going to be that re-clear for information. He saw where? And he's found Jing. Kang Kang is such a good player. He's just got the read on where people are going to challenge him. Here comes the push attempt, though. 
So much on the line here for Benkai to try and do some work, but there's a paranoia in his face, an aftershock at that. He wants to try and weave and play Flash from inside heaven. of this one. Flash through, has got another player, is a down and out, surely? It's gonna be dealt with. Another device up there, but timing is everything. A quick maneuver around the smoke, but that's an instantaneous trade. The Cypher setup is still not here. Trying to play inside their own smoke as well. The Flash is pushing into the back there with the Prowler. And that's an aftershock. Jing trying to make the moves again. Did he expect this third player at the back of the site? The answer is yes. Perfect. Just really nicely done from EDG. Oh, and Devai completely caught. With utility in his hands, Benkai. Simply oh. going to run away. Yeah, you're not getting away. Sam. I ain't getting chased down. That's what I mean. Not going to be letting them get away with a rifle. And even with... Benkai should be favored there. A couple of straight bullets, now the cam spots the positioning. He knows the amount of players that are going to be lurking and making their way now onto the C site. Can the players lock it down? Swam onto the angle, a wider swing, Jing. That's going to be two. Returns it back. The timing is everything. The Seekers, they give them exactly what they needed. They know that the last two players of Edward Gaming are going to be now sitting on the C site. How dong with his ultimate here, if they can give the spike and they swap it over. Low. The spike now onto the Omen, who fakes the plant and can ult right, over to A. Ah, oh, Chichu though, spike he down. ends up going See. down, forsaken with the operator flank. Not quite expected. Oh. Unlucky with the timing. Zek, this time Benkai is ready and waiting. Does it make a difference? They're already going to be using the pull to try and disjoint this one. Teleport to the back of the side, Benkai. His information is revealed right into the trap wire. You revealed. Lockdown, Mind Freak swinging through, three kills. And now two left standing. Chichu and nobody. In the close corner. It's going to be the dash enabled and the blade still running forwards. And a little jiggle of the movement. Spike Even if this miss on top of it. Dashing right into the face of the connector. Now left. Spike. Start to be planted. Spike a bit of spam. Oh, and there the goes, exact angle. There goes the rolling thunder. Now it's all down to Smoggy. Because these players in mid are not going to be able to hold off the retake on their own. This reflank is everything. Cosmic Divide is going to be splitting up. And of course, there's going to be aggression there, but Jing Yu really matches it. Pound for pound! Oh. Bit of whiffage. Now the knives come out into play. Information going to be revealed. But the knives still once more one after another. Down to the 1v1. A right click. Not enough. No knives really finding their mark. And a tap on a spike. Mind Freak. Cool, calm, and collected. Forsaken a Jing more so aggressive. Here comes Here the go. nightfall. Yeah. A lot being dumped into this one now, even the updraft over the top. That's going to be the trap wire, though. That reveals the positioning of Kang Kang. The counter spam is there, but again, Benkai setups are just far too clean, man. No way. Far too clean. Everyone revealed to him. And with Kang Kang down, Jing now gets the flank off. The trademark disabled. Jing is so deep into A, and Benkai continues to taunt them. Yeah. Camera just tagging a couple of players. Off to the back of the side, Jing. I don't know if you deserve that one, but. EDG love using that. It's such a great combination. That's anti flash position being played by nobody. Devai yeah. is punished. Devai was just flashing off the back of the Prowler. And both attempts at Paper Rex of getting yeah. aggressive shut down by EDG. <laughs> what a peak by nobody! Eventually, though, you've got to shut that guy down. So the trade is there for Forsaken, but the setup is being taken out. Taken. Operator, Cloud Burst, blocks the angle, there is just Spike ever so slightly it is there and he just sees an elbow, but that is enough. Now Forsaken was missing a lot of those op shots, but that connection gives him an opportunity back in the round. No yeah. way you're going for one this one. Bullet in the Operator, Rolling Thunder pushes them back, Paranoia up top, maybe they heard him. Up into heaven there, even the aftershock, okay. Jumping, hopping around the corner, staying safe for the time being, because I know that the time pressure right now is on Paper X to make the moves. You can see them jumping forward. Smoggy deals with it handedly. If EDG can get this final round on the board, it's still looking like a great half. So looking doable. I think they've shown good adaptations. Angle being watched, but again, it's another approach over towards C, another heavy execute into it, a bit of spam into the smoke. And he's just holding it. Only with a shorty. Expecting maybe a player to step within his field of vision. But no, pure discipline in play, but now they have to deal with Jing. This guy looking like a final boss. AC-130 from above, Forsaken was there with the knives and updrafting, but they do deal with him in the end. So, it's going to be a tough nut for Paper X to crack. Forever. This fault line has been held for Lord knows how long. That was the timing he was waiting for. Not quite sure what it was, but already pressure being applied now. The players just swarming out onto the site, and Paper X not going to be leaving any gaps in their approach.
Give me the spike now. Water to them so they can get themselves into this post plant scenario. Smoke gonna be fading away from heaven though. That's gonna be an angle for Kang Kang if he chooses to take it, but Kang Kang would love Kang Kang would love an opener here. Oh, but being able to pick off Jing would also be amazing. Oh the hell is he alive for that long? But I guess just a raid boss at that point. Clean fundies though, clean fundies. That's the name of the game for paper. It is an option, whereas it wasn't for paper race. Starting to see that Util now come through. Fault line paranoia, dash forwards through and the play is being made. Nobody secures two, but nobody has dealt with Jink. Eventually, he will go down, down now. And 2v2, smoke. Just causing a slight sight line. What the timing is so good and a flick of the wrist from Mind Freak. If only the Spectre left down to it, the pressure, the time. It's on the shoulders of Chichu. He needs to try and get onto this spike to get that defuse online. He's just got a smoke back. That could be the answer. There's no time cues though. There's no time at all to work with. In fact, Obster just saved the rifle. He knows that there's nothing to play for now and Benkai's done his job. And that is heartbreaking. When you get to that spot and you realize you've got to make the smart decision. To... I think that shows you some of the confidence <laughs> that Paper X are feeling right now. They're not under anywhere near the same amount of pressure as they were on the prior two maps. And this round is the backbreaker. Kang Kang Dole with an opening. Not a very good jiggle peak by Forsaken. Oh, no, Kang Kang was offered two. Still want to take the fight. Jumping across that angle, Ching does eventually remove Kang Kang. This guy's been a, a thorn in their sides throughout this series. Hubris. The smoke. Even a team flash. Okay. Yeah, things looking very sloppy here for Paper X in this round. <laughs> Paranoia to push them back. Flash though. Supplement sits. Now a dismiss, but he's right in the line of sight once more. That reef flank coming into the back and in a that for situations that aren't 5v3s. I do like this angle though from Smoggy. Even that fault line to help him out. That might have been a repeat, but there was a flash to push that one back. It's still, that cage. Just try and cut up one of the angles. Trailblazer goes down. Smoggy has not been dealt with. Slight reposition, a spray down through the cloud burst. Spike down on the ground, and enough players from Edward. And nobody pushing all the way up to this close so much space being gained. There is a cap. A triple push, but now the Nightfall. They want to try and fight this one, but the Nightfall is not catching on to anyone. Fight still being taken. That's Mind Freak all the way into the back, and the angle is watched. And this retake setup is not looking particularly great here. Nice. They don't know where Mind Freak is. There's players behind as well, but Forsaken is finding, reading the game very nicely. Yeah. They've dealt with this one. Great amounts of discipline. Still, though, you don't want to lose your grip on this round. No one was handed to you. A slight, slight jiggle there with the movement. Nobody has been baiting these shots impeccably. But now this late lurk that's coming through is everything from Mind Freak. He needs to get value out of this one, but he hasn't spotted oh. it. Maybe just the cape. One but he knows the players are pushing up. It's down now to Chichu. And this one, too. This one he can go for. Flying back around. He's aware of this one. Flick to the side. Not enough. The shot does not find his target. Of it. In fact, it's nobody been pressured the most. Fast, fast approach. Aggression is the name of the game and a flash over the top. How long just left it like a sitting duck at the back of the side, Forsaken. No Relentless with the play, the blade storm in his hands. This guy is a weapon of death. And it's a 5v3 for Paper X to close things out and move forwards in the group. Smoggy with blade storm of his own. Can he find any Caught any sort of value here. It's a brutal crossfire. Breaks it with the cloud burst. It's the one with a reswing is there at the end of the day, and it's just down to Kang Kang. This is it, surely. One shot found, two players remaining, three players remaining. Excuse me, drops down to the floor. And not enough, just can't quite reset the aim. The 13th round secures it and seals the deal for the opening match of champs. Ren, if the rest of the games are champions, are anything like that one? And this could be the best tournament yet. I've been leading up to it, hasn't it, Josh?